Hi, I'm from the product management team at Tally Solutions and I'm excited to bring you a sneak peek into our GST ready solution. The GST rollout is not too far away. With the soon to be launched Tally ERP9 release 6.0, we hope to stand by you while you adopt the biggest tax reform this country has ever seen. There may be some burning questions in your mind. Will it take a long time to get my business running in the GST tax regime? How long will it take for me to generate and print my first GST invoice? Returns with errors will be rejected by GSTN. How can I generate error-free invoices and accurate returns and focus my time on running my business? Let me quickly take you through some of the things we have done with Tally ERP9 release 6.0 to address all these questions and more. You should be up and running in minutes and not weeks or months. After you install release 6.0, Simply open your existing company, follow the messages on screen and you are ready to get started with GST. A couple of clicks and release 6.0 is enabled for GST. One of the first things to do is recording your company's GSTIN number. Let's take a look at how to begin GST compliant billing from July 1st. Release 6.0 provides you an easy way to specify HSN or SAC codes and tax rates on a single screen. The GST rate setup screen displays all the stock groups. Click F1, detailed to view the stock items in each group. Select a group for which tax rate has to be set up. Click Set Rate. In the GST details screen, enter the description for the type of supply. Ensure the HSN or SAC of the type of supply is entered correctly. Enter the integrated tax rate for the given HSN or SAC. The central tax and state or union territory tax rates are filled automatically. Enter the rate of cess, if any. Save the tax rate details. Similarly, you can set tax rates for all the items very quickly. GST compliance also mandate the GSTIN of your party. Release 6.0 is ready with a solution to easily update your party's location and GSTIN details from a single screen. To update the GSTIN for all parties in one shot, go to Update Party GSTIN. Select any specific group or ledger or all groups and all ledgers to set details for all parties. By default, this screen displays ledgers of parties which do not have these details. Select the country, state and registration type and enter GSTIN for each party. This way, you can complete entering GSTIN details for all suppliers and customers in no time. We have configured the tax details, but how will the taxes be applied? The tax is applied in transactions using tax ledgers. Since GST is divided into multiple tax types, we must create a separate ledger for each tax type. To create a tax ledger for CGST or central tax, go to Accounts Info, Ledgers and click Create. Give a name for the central tax ledger and group the ledger under Duties and Taxes. Select GST as the type of duty or tax. Select central tax as a tax type. Enter the percentage of tax if tax rate is not defined at the company level, stock group level or stock item level. Save tax ledger. Now that all the basic information is in place, you can start recording GST compliant invoices. Let us take the example of a sale transaction to see how tax is calculated. Select the party, choose sales ledger and select the items being sold and enter their rate and quantity. Now, select GST tax ledgers, central tax and state tax for a local sale and integrated tax ledger if it is an interstate sale. Print your first GST invoice with all details in no time at all. GST needs you to furnish invoice level details, so every invoice needs to be accurate. If you select the wrong tax ledger or if the tax amount is altered in a transaction, Tally ERP 9 release 6.0 will display a warning message before you save the invoice. You can choose to make the necessary corrections in the invoice. If corrections are not made during invoicing, you will get another opportunity for corrections before filing your returns. The error identification and fixing mechanism in Tally ERP9 release 6.0 is revolutionary. Different kinds of errors in transaction are categorized and listed for easy identification. You can drill down from any category of errors and resolve them. Now that we have enabled GST, set up masters, recorded transactions and resolved errors, it is time to file your return.
Buttons. Tally ERP9 Release 6.0 has provided the option to export your GSTR1 to the Excel template provided by the department. This Excel file can be imported in the GSTN offline utility. After validating the data in the offline utility, convert the data to the required .json file format to upload to the GST portal. With Tally ERP9 Release 6.0, you can keep track of how many invoices are uploaded and how many invoices are reconciled. If this excites you, we welcome you to try and experience our preview release. Stay tuned for our announcements. For more information, please visit the Tally Solutions website www.tallysolutions.com Thank you.